With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. A 14.5 kg mass fastened to the end of a steel wire of unstretched length is 1 meter. Is whirled in a vertical circle with angular velocity of 2 revolution per second at the bottom of the circle. Okay. The cross sectional area of the wire is 0.065 cm square. Calculate the elongation of wire when the mass of when the mass is at the lowest point of its path. Uh, y steel, that means Young's modulus of the steel wire is 2 into 10 to the 11 Newton per meter square. Okay. So let us draw the diagram here. Let's say this is the circular path in which the wire is rotating right and this is the wire okay and the length of the wire is 1 meter right so length is 1 meter also a mass is suspended on it and that mass is of 14.5 kilogram so mass will be equal to 14.5 kg the angular velocity is 2 revolution per second. So I can write the angular velocity mu that will be equal to 2 revolution per second. Right. And the cross section area, cross section area A of the wire is 0 0.065. This is in centimeter square. So to write it in meter square, I can just write multiply it by 10 raised to the power minus 4. So 0. 0, 0.065 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 meter square. Now we are to calculate the elongation of wire at the lowest point of its path, right? When the mass reaches the lowest point of its path, that means right here. So at this point, we can see that the forces acting on the wire due to which elongation will happen, though they, uh, those are mg, weight of the mass, plus uh, as the wire is rotating in a circle, so uh, m r omega square right and here we also know that omega is equal to 2 pi nu so therefore this will be equal to 2 pi nu is 2 revolution per second that means multiplied by 2 so it will be 4 pi so now if I calculate the total force uh, on this wire at this lowest point right here I will write force will be equal to mg plus m r omega square that means this will be equal to m g plus r omega square and here the mass is given as 14.5 kilograms so 14.5 into g is 9.8 plus r is 1 meter right so 1 and multiplied by Omega square, omega square is 14 pi, 4 pi, sorry. So it will be 16 pi square. So upon calculation of these values, I will get force is equal to 2429.53 newtons. Okay. Now we have the force uh, on this wire at the lowest point. So to calculate the elongation of the wire, let me write the Young's modulus for this wire that is equal to y will be equal to force upon area whole upon change in length upon original length so it will be equal to force upon area into l upon delta l therefore force is 2429 so 2429.53 into length of the wire is 1 meter divided by area area of cross section is 0 0.065 into 10 to the minus 4 so 0 0.065 into 10 to the minus 4 multiplied by delta l right that is elongation so from here um, we also know that y the young's model of the steel is 2 into 10 to the 11 so i can calculate delta l from this equation so i will write delta l that will be equal to 2429.5 into 1 divided by y that is 2 into 10 raised to the power 11 
into 0 0.065 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 4. So if I simplify this, I will get 1.87 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 meters, right? And 10 raised to the power minus 3 meters can also be written in the form as 1.87 millimeters, right? So the correct option uh, according to this result will be option B. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.